Several years ago, when Gutenberg was introduced to the WordPress platform, not everybody was thrilled about it. Let's face it, Gutenberg as an editor is pretty different. But I think by now most people have settled down and are using Gutenberg in WordPress. Well, guess what? It's now available in Drupal. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training, and in this video, I'm going to show you how Gutenberg has been moved or ported over to Drupal, is really easy to install, and gives you the same experience in Drupal as it does in WordPress. And the best news is it integrates with everything Drupal uses, including views and blocks and all of those other things that you would expect. All right, let's take a quick peek. All right, so you install Gutenberg in the normal way. You can either do it through the UI or through Composer. And when you do, you'll find Gutenberg listed in the Extend menu, and you can turn the Gutenberg editor on. I've turned on the example block just so we get an idea. And of course, you can store your library of blocks in the cloud if you want to as well. Once you've done that, go ahead and click Install. And there's really only one thing you need to do. Head over to Structure, Content Types, Click on the content type you want to enable the Gutenberg experience for, and click on Gutenberg experience and put a check mark in Enable Gutenberg Experience. Now, there's a bunch of things going on here. The really important things are which blocks you're going to allow. I'm going to leave all of these at the default, but you'll see that we have all of the core blocks that are available, as well as a whole bunch of core embeds like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, Spotify, and Flickr, and more. You can check those out. Also, with Gutenberg, you can insert any Drupal block. So if you have views that you've already created, well, those can become part of the content area of your site, much like Layout Builder does as well. I'm going to click Save Content Type and go to Content, Add Content and Article. And the first time this loads, you'll get a little welcome screen. It's just some helpful information. But here's Gutenberg, just like you have in WordPress. So here's some text some text, and I'm going to click there and click on the block. And here you are with example Gutenberg block, all of the common blocks, all of the formatting, layout elements, embeds, exactly like you're used to with the Gutenberg editor in WordPress. But now it's in Drupal. I'm going to come down, click on the plus symbol, scroll down. And again, you've got all kinds of blocks that you can use. Gutenberg is essentially a block system. Pull quote, code, custom HTML, verse, group, columns. You can do some really nice layouts here. Media and some text off to the side. Navigation. Well, let me just embed a Vimeo video. I'm going to throw in the video from the introduction to our Drupal 9 course. And there it is. It's that simple. I'm going to add a heading block. And there it is under common blocks. And this is a terrific video and hit enter. Now, if I wanted to move that up, well, it's just as simple as this. Hover over here and click the up button. And there it is. Well, we have a lot more information at OS Training about the Gutenberg editor. For now, the really cool thing is, well, guess what? You've got Gutenberg inside of Drupal. So as I mentioned, Gutenberg really integrates well with Drupal. Now, again, it abandons the structured content approach that Drupal is famous for. And so when you have a content type that has various fields and stuff, you're basically abandoning those fields in order to use Gutenberg. So most people are using it on landing pages, very similar to how they're using Layout Builder. And indeed, Gutenberg is a pretty decent Layout Builder replacement if that's what you want to use and that's what you're used to. It includes all of the blocks, views, everything that you would expect from an excellent editor in Drupal. Well, listen, thanks for watching. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Would you subscribe? Would you like? It helps us out. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.